Systematic reviews will engage in a systematic, usually predetermined process for sorting through the literature with an aim toward casting a very wide net. They will tell you exactly which search terms they used and how many articles those searches yielded. They will tell you exactly how many duplicate articles they found, how many articles they excluded because of irrelevance or poor study design. They guide you step by step through their decision making process to ensure that you know exactly where they are getting their information. They will also invariably include a flowchart to outline Line this exact procedure. So if you see that flowchart describing exactly how they selected their articles, you're probably looking at a systematic review. Systematic reviews are extremely hard to produce and command a higher level of respect from the field. It's possible that the researcher may still present a biased view, but by ensuring that articles are selected in a systematic way, this is just a bit harder to do. They are going to have to cite that evidence that disagrees with their position. They're far more likely to cite that counter evidence because it would have been caught up in the net. Next we'll talk about empirical or data-driven articles. 